Slavery throughout the ancient world was a very common practice. Almost every ancient civilization took part in some form of slavery, from the Sumerians to ancient Greece to Egypt and of course ancient Rome. According to some estimates, up to 30% of Rome's population may have been enslaved by the year 1 AD. These slaves usually served in households, mines, construction, farms, and even in gladiatorial games. In fact, Spartacus, one of the most infamous figures in classical antiquity, was sold as a slave and trained to be a gladiator. One particularly interesting site is the Dolaucothi gold mines in Wales. When the Romans conquered the native tribes in the region around the latter 1st century AD, they exploited the gold deposits of the Dolakothi mines, and it is very likely that slave labour was used in these operations. The account featured in this video covers one such instance of slavery in ancient Rome. The account, which is in the form of a letter, was written by a well-known lawyer and author from ancient Rome named Gaius Caecilius, more commonly known as Pliny the Younger. As a side note, Pliny the Younger is the only person to have witnessed and written about the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD, which will be covered in a future video. The letter was written to a man named Achilles, who is perhaps a close friend of Pliny, as he has mentioned in a previous letter in intimate detail, and is described by Pliny as a man of almost unique weight, judgment, and honour. The exact date of the letter is unclear, but it was written somewhere between the years 97 and 100 AD. The letter talks of a man named Lasius Macedo. Very little is known about Lasius Macedo's early life, other than that he was born to a father who had previously been a slave. Although Lasius Macedo came from a humble background, he climbed his way up the social hierarchy to break into the class of senators, from which he became a very wealthy and powerful figure in Roman society. And despite being born to a formerly enslaved father, he not only owned slaves, but was notoriously cruel in his treatments of them. One day, Lasius Macedo is reported to have been bathing at his villa in the seaside village of Formae, approximately 100 miles southeast of Rome, when a group of his slaves attacked him. Pliny the Younger writes, a terrible thing, worthy of more than just a letter, has been suffered at the hands of his slaves by Lasius Macedo, a man of Praetorian rank, a haughty and savage master, who remembered too little, or rather too well, that his own father had been a slave. He was bathing at his villa at Formae. Suddenly, his slaves surround him. One attacks his throat, another strikes his face another his chest and belly, and even batters his private parts. And when they thought he was dead, they threw him down on the heated stone pavement to test whether he was alive, either because he was unconscious, or because he was pretending to be unconscious. He lay outstretched and motionless, and convinced them that he was entirely dead. Only then as he carried out, as if he had been overcome by the heat, his more faithful slaves take him up, and his concubines come running with howling and shouts. Roused by their cries, and revived by the coolness of the place, he shows by opening his eyes and moving his body, that he is still alive. The slaves scatter, most of them have been captured, the rest are being sought. He himself, kept alive with difficulty for a few days, passed away, not without the consolation of vengeance avenged while he was alive, as those who have been murdered are avenged. You see how many dangers, how many outrages, how many insults we are exposed to. Nor is it possible for anyone to be safe, just because he is lenient and kind. For it is not by rational calculation that masters are murdered, but by viciousness.